Greetings everyone around the world and in your time zones. Um, I hope that you have a blessed night, afternoon, evening, and morning. Coaches Presti and Ariel, thank you for letting me serve you again, Familia. Much love to you. I speak blessings over you and all that you do in your purposeful life. Today, I get the privilege and the honor to bring to you the topic, the leadership spirit. The spirit of leadership. Just what is the spirit of leadership? And how do you know you're operating in the spirit of leadership? Here's some quotes from Miles Monroe that helps um, shed some little nuggets of little things that he learned over the years. So one of them is, find your domain and serve it to the world. What is domain? It's your purpose. What is your authentic God-given purpose? What does that look like for you? Well, it could be a passion that you just can't get out of your mind. Now, as for me, my dominion is leadership, teaching leadership skills. And how did I do this? My platform was based on, as a king of the king, my business. Leading as a woman in a road of construction, which was technically, as they say, a man's world. And providing keys and principles and a light to where the world sees me in a different light. Which opens doors for me in my community as leadership, diversity, and inclusion um, with the youth and different sectors in the state of where I am and around the world because we have domain and a unique purpose that we must serve with a passion. Another quote is, the leadership spirit comes with a spirit of leadership. So we have a spirit that dwells within us, and we have to cultivate that spirit. You have to choose to manifest your leadership nature, natural. It's natural. You just have to cultivate it out. The leadership spirit possesses a natural love for all human beings. What we have in us is not just for us to get gain and riches or popularity or titles. It's to serve what we have inside of us to the world. This is how we connect with God, a relationship with God, and then therefore serving that to the world to help others. The nature of the leadership spirit is the inherent desire of all mankind to control and regulate both environment and circumstances, which is so true. We are God's vessels here on earth that can change the world. We give him permission through us and the Holy Spirit. If we listen to him through the spirit of leadership to change and rearrange and make new solutions to problems and to create new here in the earth and have our dominion back which Adam and Eve lost in the Garden of Eden when they fell out of God's presence from disobedience. Our greatest example of this in the Bible is Jesus himself. He was born in the womb of Mary. He was placed there by God himself. He said, let me go, and he went. So we have the spiritual spiritual leadership it relates to the human soul following the Holy Spirit teaching others to do the same leading by example as Jesus did and serving to others not to be served by them we aren't to do it for nothing in return the only one that will elevate us and take us to the next levels or whatever the case may be is God himself 
We are never to elevate ourselves, but keep working and striving for purpose, which continues to seek God first and get his understanding and why his will is our life. We must tap into that relationship with God, which makes our spirituality a more growing, knowledgeable, wisdomable thing that we can grow and share. And as we give out, we get more in to another level of spiritual leadership because we have a greater understanding of who God is, his nature, his character, and we were made in his image. Some characteristics are humility, diversification, mutual helpfulness, strength, benefit to God's people, surrender to God's sovereign guidance. We must be submitted to God. We cannot straddle the fence. We must be submitted. Our thoughts are his thoughts. So we must continually ask God and seek him first. God, is this what I should do? Jesus' examples are he was a servant, a leader, self-awareness. He was aware of his surroundings. He knew what was going to happen when he went into it, and he was prepared. Will of the Father. He knew the will of the Father. We must know the will of God. The glory of the Father. God gives us glory and we give glory back to him if we are in alignment with the spirit of leadership. Not seeking recognition. We cannot do this. We must let him recognize us. Prayerful, without ceasing. This is a huge, huge key in the kingdom of God and our spiritual leadership because prayer gives God access on our behalf and what needs done in the earth. We are to do greater works. And how can we do that without prayer and communication and a relationship with God? Gentle. God is meekness, love, kindness, empathy. Preacher, teacher, we have a ministry. I know religion um, really does a bad thing on the preacher part because a lot of people are not true to what they say or don't have the understanding of what the, the word really says. Care of others, their physical needs, their emotional needs. We don't speak from um, opinions, but we go to the word of God. We know them by their fruits. This is a scripture that is in the Bible. Being cemented as Jesus was, he said, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Luke twenty-two forty-two. He gives us hope. And when we are totally submitted and surrendered to God, we find hope in everything that we do. Why? Because we're submitted. We know God shall supply all of our needs. We don't have to worry about tomorrow. Sacrifice and serve. We have to be servants to one another. John 10 and 18, no man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. We have to give it all to God. We have to lay it down. Matthew 20, 28, even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. God gave his life for us that we should have life and that more abundantly. We live underneath of what our calling and our purpose really is. We really need to tap into the spiritual leadership of where we should be. Motivating, inspiring, hope, faith, and a vision of service based on kingdom culture and values. Love to produce both leaders and followers to spiritual well-being through the calling of vision. We have to get others to see their vision, to see their worth, to know who they are, 
to know the five questions of where did they come from? What can they do? Who am I? Where am I going? Be highly motivated, committed. When it says sold out or to dying to it, we have to be willing to give our life back to God as he gave his life for us. Productive. Action speaks louder than words. Just don't mouth it, but act on it. Values and beliefs. Some of the skills of a leadership spirit is the process of learning to create, acquire, transfer knowledge, modifying behavior. That's a mindset change. Reflecting new knowledge. Always be teachable. A clear vision. Know what you were called to do. Work in that purpose. Plan that vision. It is your purpose. Quality. Achievement. And empower each other. We should always be able to help one another reach their goals or give positive feedback or give maybe sometimes not all the information because it's only yours when you find it yourself, but to lead and guide them in the way that they can find that if they're seeking. Exceeding expectations, flexible in capabilities, diverse in personal makeup, risk takers. You have to be able to take risks. Your attitude has to be in check. You are your attitude and your attitude is you. If you don't control it, it will control you. Strive to listen. You must be a listener in order to get through life. You have to. And you need to take correction. You need to ask people, if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know what it is. That way you can correct it and rectify it and make it better and get in right standing. Innovate, create new leaders, committed to Jesus' example, vision, goals, and culture of the kingdom. Will you be the salt for God? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Are you showing love, gentleness, and kindness? Is your character good? Is it in right standing? Is your attitude backlashing on people? Are you judging? Are you opinionated? These are not um, the spirit of leadership. And we should not show these because these are not the image of God. And success, this little graph shows success has people thinks it is just climbing higher and higher and higher. Well, they built the Tower of Babylon and it fell because you cannot do it that way. You have to reach goals and you will be tested. This teaching I'm doing right now on the spirit of le leadership, I guarantee you it's going to be tested. Because every time I do a teaching, I get tested higher to a next level. So success, what it really looks like, it might be as all scrambled, but you have lessons that you're going to learn in between all of this. It just ain't a straight line up because once you get to the top, you're going to fall to the bottom. But if you go around the hills and the valleys and you make it through to the top, then you have a path to come down on the other side. And then you can climb up again higher on the next side. See, we have to keep going. We have to keep climbing. We have to be the light into the world. The spirit dwells within us. We have to learn to listen to what it says. Because if we don't, we're ignoring it and we get into self. We have to learn to switch between king and priest. This is what I have to do in my business. In my business, I'm a king of my business. I'm in the marketplace. I'm doing what I have to do. I have to manage. I have to maintain. I have to show good character. I have to show the right attitude. And as a priest, as people come in and see the love of God, see that I'm not like others, I'm not controlling, I'm not this, I'm not that, and that they see a light. They see something different. And then they come to me, will you pray for me? Will you do this? Will you do that? Can you help me figure this out or give advice? These are keys to spiritual leadership. If you're a true leader, 
the Holy Ghost draws them to you. Are you giving God access in what you do and say and teach and learn and take into your body, into your mind? Does your action speak louder than your words? Giving God access to earth, Ephesians 2 and 18, for through him we both have our access in one spirit to the Father. Revelations 1 and 6, and he has made us to be a kingdom priest to his God and Father. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Matthew 6, 33, seek God first. Matthew 16, 15 through 19, whatever you bind or loose on earth, you bind and loose in heaven. We give God access to earthly affairs. We need the spirit of leadership. Without the spirit, it's lip service to God. Matthew 15, 8. Leadership without spirit is no relationship with God. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts, their mind, their thoughts are far from me. So where are you today? Do you show the spirit of leadership? Do you strive to be in right standing? Do you obey the laws of God? Do you seek God first? Do you have a relationship with him? These are questions we all should ask ourselves. Am I in a line or am I out of line? And I leave you with the greatest tip of all today. For spiritual leadership, prayer, without ceasing, not asking for nothing, but seeking God first, letting him have dominion, letting him have control, a passion for the presence of God. And this is found and this is done through prayer. Prayer is so important. So please today, go to your prayer closets. Find time. Make time. Spend time with God. Get that spiritual relationship. Let the Holy Ghost talk, lead, and guide you. This is spiritual leadership. And then once you do this, leadership is not something that is you regret or you have so much trouble. There's a peace. There's a sweet peace in what I do because of my spiritual leadership and because I am submitted and I have given myself to God. I'm sold out. Whatever tomorrow brings, I don't worry about it in my business, in my home, in my life, in my family, because I have come to the point, there's no turning back. My spirituality with God and Him leading my life, spiritual leadership, allowing God to have control, letting go, being prayerful, saying, here I am, God, I'm submitted to you. Come, use me. Make me be the spiritual leader, your spirit working through me. So I pray for you today. I speak blessings on you. I speak healing. I speak prosperity. I speak that God ignites the passion of your vision to a plan that you can go forth and share with others the knowledge, the skills, create new ideas and cultivate people to see their worth. This is the spirituality of God. We are to make people agents of change, leaders. So I love you all. I hope that um, you got some nuggets out of this. And much love, Prezi and Ariel, and thank you once again. Bye-bye.